My name is Johannes and this is Nomad Cities. So today I'm meeting Sam Sucker, a food and travel writer from America that came to Barcelona to follow his dream. I went to culinary school in New York and then I had a job opportunity to be a guest teacher in a cooking class on a transatlantic cruise from Miami to Barcelona. The idea of living in another country never scared me and I had a feeling when I arrived that it was just the beginning. The trip was just fate really. It was the perfect moment in my life. I didn't have a serious job, I didn't have a relationship, I didn't have a house, I didn't have anything to go back to. All I had was a backpack and a guitar. From the moment I arrived, I loved Barcelona for many reasons. One is the history that you see all around you here. I'm from a small town in New England, so I've always been fascinated by history. And just walking through Barcelona and seeing all the different time periods so visibly is amazing to me. I also really love being able to walk everywhere I go. I live in the city center and I can pretty much go anywhere I want, either walking or on a bicycle. I take my bicycle everywhere and in the center of Barcelona, it's very flat and very easy to bike. So Sam, we are here in Barcelona right now and we've been like walking around the city, but what, what are we doing right now? So we've just come to an uh, opening of a new gallery. It's a pop-up art space that some friends of mine own. So it's the first day they're open. So there's a bunch of people here. It's a gallery and a recording studio. There are always things going on in Barcelona. The city is always alive with food events, musical events, networking events. You can meet great people, you can see a DJ, you can eat from a food truck, you can go to a wine tasting pretty much any day of the week. A lot of the people that come here from abroad come to work in creative pursuits or to be entrepreneurs or self-employed. I feel like Barcelona is a place where I can be really creative. I work making videos, making photos, writing. People understand the passion behind creative pursuits, which I find really encouraging. I also really enjoy the food of Barcelona, and some of the most local and authentic things to eat would be really simple, fresh seafood, different home-style dishes like stews, sausages, cured meats. I also enjoy the developments recently into different cultural cuisines. Some of my favorite new restaurants in Barcelona are ones that are vegetarian or ones that are really heavily focused on vegetables. People can go to these fresh markets always within walking distance no matter where you are in the city and a lot of the vendors have been selling the same thing for generations and you get really fresh produce, really fresh seafood. It's kind of a community and I get to know the people at the market that I go to most often. They recognize me so I really enjoy that. My time in Barcelona, I think I've matured a lot as a person and I've also developed a lot creatively. I've found new outlets and new passions and I continue to learn new things about Barcelona every day. Thank you so much, Barcelona. Next about Thailand and Chiang Mai. See you in the next episode of Nomad Cities.